Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add bots to Google Chat. Bots essentially function as extensions to Chrome, but bots work in Google Chat. And there's a lot of different kinds that you can use. So once you have a room created, uh, if you haven't added any bots, you're gonna be able to add people and bots here. So when I click on this option, I can actually search all of the different bots that are available out there. What I can also do is I can click on this button here and it'll give me a list of all of the bots or the ones that are the most popular or the ones that are featured. So Giphy allows you to type different things in and get a GIF to show up in your comments. You can also use items that are in Google Workspace like Meet and Drive. You have the option of also using Poly, which is basically a polling um, option and it looks like this. I've already included this in my test room one, but you can put polls in the Google chats. Now, depending on your workspace and how you use this at your school, or your business, there could be anywhere from 30 to 40 people in an individual chat, depending on, again, your workflow and different projects or different things that you're working on. If you work in education, most likely this is going to be a small PLC team, maybe a grade level team, maybe an administrative team. That's how we use it in, in our workflow at our schools. We have an administrative team and then I have my leadership team and we're all part of different chats. And the nice thing about this is all of these are saved and it's a reply and it follows the process. So once you have your poll or your, not your poll, but your bot installed. So let's just add this. We're gonna add this to the room. We're gonna click on test room two. We'll click on add. And you'll see now that this bot is in this room. And so I can actually schedule meets for this room um, if I wanted to schedule a meet. Uh, I can also add a drive bot or other polling bots depending on the workflow that I use at my school or business. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end and thank you for what you do for kids on a daily basis. If this video saved you time, energy, and frustration, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with your teacher friends. You can subscribe by clicking up here or you can watch another video either here or here. Again, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.